Hey all, this is your Kalpana here. In this video, we're going to solve a differential equation which is xz. So let's get going. Problem solve y secant square x plus secant x tan x into dx plus tan x plus 2y into dy equal to 0. So we are given a differential equation of the form m dx plus n dy equal to 0, right? Given differential equation. y secant square x plus secant x tan x to dx plus tan x plus 2y into dy equal to 0. Consider it as equation number 1 which is of the form m dx plus n dy equal to 0. By comparing these two, we will get m and n, where m equal to y secant square x plus secant x tan x and n equal to tan x plus 2y. Right? If the partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. So let's now find the partial derivative of m with respect to y and partial derivative of n with respect to x. I'll begin with partial derivative of m with respect to y. Dou by dou y of m y secant square x plus secant x tan x. We can write this as dou by dou y of the first term secant square x plus partial derivative of second term secant x tan x. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so we'll treat x as constant. In the first term, secant square x is treated as constant in the second term secant x tan x both are constants right we can write the first term as secant square x into partial derivative of y with respect to y plus partial derivative of a constant with respect to y is zero this becomes secant square x into partial derivative of y with respect to y is one which is secant square x right let's now find partial derivative of n with respect to x this equals to dou by dou x of n tan x plus 2y you can write this as dou by dou x of tan x plus dou by dou x of the second term 2y this equals to Partial derivative of tan x with respect to x is secant square x plus partial derivative since it's a partial derivative with respect to x so y is treated as constant here 2y is constant so partial derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0. We will get secant square x. So by observing these two we can say that partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x therefore partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x equals to secant square x which is nothing but partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x this shows that the given differential equation is an exact equation. The general solution Since the given differential equation is an exact equation, now we are going to find the general solution to the given equation or we are going to solve the problem, we can say. The general solution to exact equation is given by integral m dx treating y as constant plus integral terms of n free from x into dy equal to c. 
okay let's now find these two integrals separately i'll begin with the first one integral m dx treating y as constant okay z equals to integral m y secant square x plus secant x tan x into dx we can write this as integral y secant square x dx plus integral secant x tan x dx which gives us since y is treated as constant so in the first term y is constant let's write this y outside the integral we'll get y integral secant square x dx plus the second term remains the same okay since we know that integral secant square x dx is tan x and integral secant x tan x dx is secant x right so this becomes this becomes y integral secant square x dx is tan x plus integral secant x tan x dx is secant x therefore integral m dx equal to y tan x plus secant x while treating y as constant now coming to the second integral integral terms of n free from x into dy now observe n you are having n equal to tan x 2y so the term which does not involve x is 2y right so terms of n free from x is 2y into dy here 2 is constant let's write it outside the integral we'll get 2 integral y dy this is equals to 2 into integral y dy is y square by 2 here 2 gets cancelled you'll get y square therefore integral of terms of n free from x into dy equal to y square right now coming to the general solution therefore the general solution is given by integral m dx treating y as constant plus integral terms of n free from x into dy equal to c the result obtained from the first integral is y tan x plus secant x and the result obtained from the second integral is y square equal to c therefore y tan x plus secant x plus y square equal to c is the required solution So we have seen a problem from exact equation in this video. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.